Dwayne Johnson wakes up at 3.30 a.m., Tim Cook at 3.45, and Richard Branson at 5. But I hate waking up early. You have probably heard of all the hype about how getting up at the crack of dawn is the secret to productivity and success. But did you know that mornings can differ from person to person, and waking up at sunrise can even be detrimental for some people? In this video, I will share with you 5 reasons why waking up early doesn't always lead to a more productive and happier life and what will. I will also be sharing with you my personal experience of changing my sleep pattern for one year and how that worked out. The five reasons why getting up at sunrise doesn't always guarantee higher productivity and happiness are biology, choice, total hours, sleep quality, and routine. 1. Biology Waking up early is literally torture for night owls like me, with good reasons. According to a study published in New Scientist by a university in Germany, around 10% of the global population can be categorized as hardcore morning birds, and 20% are true night owls due to genetics. And the remaining 70% have normal body clocks determined by their unique chronotypes, or internal clocks which are mainly biological, such as your cells, hormones, body temperature, metabolism, and age. These biological factors have a significant impact on your sleep patterns according to science. Take age, for example. Do you remember when you were a teenager or in your 20s? Or if you're now in your 20s, you are probably a night owl due to your hormones and social factors, while older people tend to become early risers as they age. I've always been a night owl, and it is so hard for me to sleep before midnight, especially when I'm often most productive and creative at night. I can still wake up at 6, but I find I find it extremely difficult to focus at work, I get grumpier, and I can't think clearly. So if my body is not built to be an early bird, I don't want to force it because it's unhealthy and it makes me unhappy. And being unproductive, uncreative, and unhappy are not part of the success equation. What about you? Do you identify yourself as an early bird or a night owl? Drop me a message below and tell me if your sleep pattern has changed throughout the years, whether it has changed your productivity and happiness level. Level. 2. Choice if you can choose whatever time you sleep and wake up every day with no consequences, will you still wake up at 4 a.m.? My guess is, unless you're a natural early bird, most people will not. Most of us have to wake up early because we don't have a choice. We need to go to work and attend to our responsibilities and obligations. This is especially true for people who hold influential and powerful positions in businesses and government. Or if you're in demanding industries, or if you're a professional, you likely won't have much control over your rest schedule. I still remember the years when I had to work until 2 a.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. to be back in the office. For those of you who need to work shifts, your working hours are usually fixed, giving you little control over your wake-up time. And if you live far away, you need to factor in the long commute time every day. And let's not forget the working parents or full-time parents with young children, because the kiddos are usually already up at 5. Unless you're a natural early riser, being forced to wake up early is is unpleasant, especially for hardcore night owls like myself, which can lead to exhaustion and unhappiness. And when you're not happy, it's hard to be productive. 3. Total hours it is the total number of sleeping hours every day that matters, not just your wake-up time. And the number of sleeping hours we need depends on our genetics, biology, and lifestyle. So it's important that you find out the ideal number of sleeping hours that you need every day to function at your best, and simply adjust your schedule to make that happen. If you need 8 hours of sleep, and you go to bed at 9 a.m. and wake up at 5 a.m., it will work for you. But for whatever reasons, you can't go to bed until midnight, and you still need to wake up at 5 a.m. to continue to work, you will only get 5 hours of sleep, which is 3 hours short of what you need. In this case, waking up at 5 a.m. will make you unhappy and unproductive. For the hardcore early birds, the ones that sleep at 1 a.m. and can still automatically get up at 5 and can be happy and still super productive. I have a couple of friends like that and I'm very interested in these people because they only make up a small percentage of the global population based on research. So if you're one of these rare Reads, leave me a comment below and share with me your feedback. 4. Sleep quality 
If you're well rested with good sleep quality, you will be more productive. Having 6 hours of quality sleep is better than having 12 hours of poor quality disruptive sleep. This means waking up at the crack of dawn or at 7am or 10am will not make you any happier or more productive if your sleep quality is poor. Your sleep environment affects your sleep quality according to science. So you want to consider blackout curtains or shades to help keep your bedroom dark, install dimmer switches for your bedroom lighting, so you can adjust it to a lower level to help you get ready for sleep every night. For more ideas on how to make your bedroom and your home a calming and eco-friendly space, check out my video here. 5. Personalized Routine Consistently waking up at the crack of dawn 5 days or 7 days a week for 30 to 40 years of your life is not something that works for everyone and is not a happy thought for most people. Come on, you need to have a little fun in life, right? So identify and craft out your own personalized routines based on your biology, lifestyle, and workload for the week or month if you can. My energy and creativity come in batches. So instead of forcing myself to fit into the same wake up time every day, I try to give myself some flexibility and zoom out on a weekly or even bi-weekly basis for my routine. I try to sleep earlier and wake up at 7.30 for three to four days consecutively to do creative and high level brain work. So on these three to four Four days, I might work very long hours, then my body would naturally tell me to take it easy on the next few days to relax and do other more executional or administrative work. Crafting your personalized routines according to your biology and needs can significantly increase your happiness and productivity which lead to success. Now comes the question of whether you can change from being a night owl to an early bird or vice versa. You definitely can because I've tried it. For a year, I remember forcing myself to sleep at 9 and wake up at 5 a.m. to do morning swims and exercises. Was it feasible and did I get enough sleep? Sure, that's 8 hours of sleep every day. But did I enjoy it and did it sustain? Nope because I had no life. Even though the discipline schedule for that year gave me a physically healthier lifestyle, I was not too well mentally because the routine was too structured for me. And so I was not happy and not as productive at work because I felt there was nothing to look forward to in the evening. So I reverted back to my old ways and learned to personalize my routine, which now changes every week. It suits me much better and so I'm happier and more productive. So my friends, remember Remember that happiness, productivity, and success are not determined by whether you're an early bird or not. It's about understanding your own body clock, finding the natural rhythm that works best for you, prioritizing quality sleep, and optimizing your schedule accordingly so you can sleep better and feel better, which leads to happiness, higher productivity, and a higher probability for success. So whether you're an early bird or a night owl, let's rise and shine on our own terms. Until next time, Time. Sleep tight. Bye.